video is to show the differences between um, the neoprite mast on a neoprite sail, which is uh, mast is flex cup, and um, breaking the same sail with an EZI mast, which is a constant curve, to see if in static um, we could see the differences in how the sail uh, rigs up. Right now I have the stock mast. I when to spec, I didn't like how it opened. I added a little bit more, maybe one centimeter from uh, recommended, so I'm probably at 143. And so I have a 433 there, 430 mast, and uh, a two centimeter extension plus one. At the clue, I have, I have maybe one centimeter left, so. I'm at 178 at the boom, and the recommended setting is 177, so I'm probably just right there. Uh, the sail is pretty flat up top with a big pocket for a power wave sail. That's normal for the Alpha and uh, now Atlas and previously Search. There's a lot of play right there. Right now I'm about two-thirds under on this button here, and right here about halfway on the first one. When I didn't have any uh, outhaul tension, it the batten, the bottom batten was about one centimeter past the mast and the top, I mean the, the top one, the second one was probably up to three centimeters. So there's a lot of batten rotation on that, on this nail pride sail. Um, so this is what the leash looks like. It's quite loose. About halfway on that second panel there. All right, so now I have the Ezi mast on the nail bright sail. Uh, it's a you know, regular Ezi constant curve mast. And the funny thing is that the the sail looks nearly identical. And there was one um, one difference I noticed the battens look the same on the on the mast same clearance the only thing I noticed was that for the same tension at the clue the second batten appeared to have more curve to it it's not as flat as it is with the Neil Pride mast that's about the only the only difference it uh, opens right there around the middle of that second panel. Um, that was about the same amount of twist. I want to say, I want to say that the sail looks more, it just looks better with the Ezi mast. We have about halfway here and maybe two thirds here with like just two, three centimeters. Um, sorry, right here. Visually, it's amazing how there's so little difference. I was expecting to see something to be able to to tell about different behavior because on the water, major differences. The the sail actually for my weight, seven kilos. The the Ezi mast works way better. It has more. It, it increases the sail the sail stability. It increases the range because it doesn't pull as much, so I can get away with more wind. It feels lighter, more reactive, uh, and that was that to me was just amazing. I, I did not expect such a big difference. So I don't know if the the mast I have is just bad, or um, or if it just works better for my weight. There's still quite a bit of buff right here, typical Neil Pride power wave sail. And just for kicks I wanted to throw in the top of the 400 mast, uh, still Ezzy, on that on that sail because the Neil Pride is supposed to have flexed up so I thought if I put a, a softer mast, softer top, I would get the equivalent of flexed up but it, it's not working at all. Um, I have less downhaul that uh, that calls for because I'm already very loose up top 
So I added 15 centimeter extension, but for the 15 centimeter less mass length. But I have a very loose leash, very very loose. And down there, down here, I have buttons that don't want to stay in place and that don't. The cell is lacking tension under. Um, Profile-wise, it's not very much different. I have the same amount of of outhaul, so I can compare the settings. I have just more pockets. It's very soft in the midsection, and I have lots of lots of buffer here. This enormous amount because there's not enough tension down down low, and right here it's like. I mean, it's just not saleable. That sail will, uh, will pull like crazy, but have no stability. And anyway, so it wouldn't work with a 400 top, but it looks great with the regular 430.